Where do we find the characters? Where do you find me? This isn't your home. What are you talking about? This is the Umbrella Academy. This is the Sparrow Academy. We find them right back where we left them in season two. They've returned from Dallas, they're exhausted. They think they've set the world right and unfortunately discover that there is a whole new group of siblings that now are living in their house called Sparrow Academy, who are claiming ownership to the house. Dad's alive and well, seemingly, and um, they're not welcome there. Everybody else can see Ben, right? Yeah, and he's a complete dickhead. <laughs> They're all dickheads. Ben starts off this season living his jolly life in the Sparrow Academy, and then one day a group of strangers pop up into his living room, looking at him very oddly and saying that they live in the same house that they do. We just literally fought a war in the 60s. So we've just saved the world, and now we have to deal with this shit. But we're already knackered. So this is the last thing we want to deal with. So, uh, but once we've done that, you know, we have to just kind of get on here. We got to like, in this new timeline that we don't actually have any responsibilities here for what we think, you know, we don't think the world is ending. It's like, okay, well, what do we do now? How do we exist in this world? What is it, the reactions to danger? Their fight, flight, freeze and flop? <laughs> you think Klaus would just do straight to I flop? Think, yeah, flop, to flop, yeah. If Klaus goes flop, it's and it's this, this sense of utterly bizarre, mind-bending reality. And I think Klaus's response is just to sort of go, <laughs> <laughs> just sort of, you know, do everything but just kind of sag to the floor and stays in that kind of sag mode for, you know, at least an episode and a half. Yeah. You know, which is kind of nice, really. You know, if that's your response to danger, you kind of start to enjoy danger because of your response to it. You know? <laughs> well, it's quite relaxing, yeah. find danger quite relaxing. Oh, but lie down. <laughs> Allison took a huge gamble. She, she left the love of her life, Ray, to go find her daughter and be reunited with Claire. And so I think right when we see her, you know, she's hopeful, but then within minutes that changes because you know, I, I don't know that, that she's pieced the like the pieces together in her head yet, but by the Sparrow Academy being there and and Reggie being there and Ben being there, like something is not right. <laughs> so from season two, I've just blinked out with the briefcase and you don't know where I've gone and you don't find out right at the beginning either. But I do come back in spectacular fashion, in a spectacular fashion. <laughs> and that's all I'm going to say. It's a little discombobulated because obviously Lila has just disappeared, you know, and him kind of having a piece of his heart kind of just, you know, kind of disappear. Uh, and to kind of, I, I feel like he, he would have tried to figure out how to find her again in his own terms. But obviously showing up and seeing that there's another academy uh, in, in his house and that it's not his house anymore, it obviously kind of shifts his focus into trying to prove himself again that he is and they are the dominant family in that household until obviously Lila shows up on her own terms with a child and uh, really f his life up. <laughs>